morning, Rutgers. I'm Olivia Cruiser. And I'm Joey Lupo. We've got a great show lined up for you. It is Monday, October 3rd, 2016. Today we're going to paint the town scarlet with Dan Natale at Art After Hours. Olivia and I will give you the regional and big picture forecast for this week. Hopefully it doesn't rain much for much longer. <laughs> I'm going to talk with Barbara Ruffin from the Office of Summer and Winter Sessions. And Chloe Cooper is here to tell us all about the movie Buffy the Vampire Slayer. Oh, I can't wait to see what that's about. Let's start the show. You're watching Wake Up Rutgers on RUTV. Rutgers, it's great to be here on this cheerful Monday morning. We're here to wake you up every Monday morning with all the latest and greatest news, events, and weather. So, Joey, the semester is in full swing, and I cannot believe it's already October. Yeah, you know, I heard somebody talking about midterms yesterday, so that's a little, you know, that's, a little nerve-wracking, yeah. I must admit. I actually have an exam next week already. I, I have one on it. Wednesday, so maybe I should yeah. get around to buying my textbooks <laughs> yeah, you finally. you definitely should get around to that. I, yeah, I just feel like September came and gone. Like, I just, I feel like it just flew by. Yeah, what's really odd to me is that I never have to go to school in September again. Yeah, that's crazy. It was from now on, you're just, you know, checking off the months. That's crazy. Exactly. That's awesome, but... Um, November is coming up. It's next month, which means it's Rutgers' big birthday. So let's check out one of the ways Rutgers has celebrated 250 years with Dan Natale at last year's Art After Hours. Hello Rutgers, I'm Dan Natale. Welcome to the Zimmerly Art Museum for this month's Art After Hours. Today, we're here at the Rutgers 250 Here Now exhibition. Let's go check it out. What's on display in this exhibition tonight? Well, this exhibition, which opened on January 19th, is called Here Now, and it is an exhibition of photographs that everyone at Rutgers has sent in to the Zimmerly Art Museum. We have photographs of kids in dormitories, food, snow, art, music, theater, dance groups, horses. How do you choose all the photos that go into the exhibition? We're not making any choices at all. Every photo that gets sent in to us gets put up on the wall. So um, it's a chance for everyone at Rutgers to really send a photo and be on display in the Zimmerly Art Museum. How many photos did you get? As of today, we have 563 photos. But if you walk through the gallery space, you see that only about two rooms are pretty much filled up. And we have the entire area. So just send them all in, and I will be there printing them out. made you want to come check out this event? I'm actually an exhibitor. I've known about this um, for a while now. Um, I'm actually, I'm a huge fan of the Zimmerly kind of. I love their art and I come here a lot. So I found out about this event through them. Oh, I have a friend, he literally submitted a dozen, <laughs> a dozen photos. So it was great kind of walking around and seeing him and all of my friends everywhere. I think it's a great way to look at everything that's going on across Rutgers and not just what you're used to seeing every day. Do you have any favorite photos in the exhibit? Yeah, there's this one photo um, of old Queens just with like a little bit of snow on it, like right before the snowstorm had started, and I, I really love that one. Well, Rutgers, I hope you have as much fun today as I did. Until next time, I'm Dan Natale, RUTV. See, I love this exhibit. I actually submitted a picture to that, and walking in the Zimmerly and seeing it on the wall, the part of this humongous display, it was amazing to be a part of something so big. Yeah, I actually submitted a picture too, and apparently it's going to be in the 
RE250 wow. art book. So that's nice. Yeah, and I'm that's just awesome. A tiny piece of Rutgers yeah, history. You know, that it's, is awesome. It's just a fun thought to think that uh, maybe 150 years from now someone's just going to peep at me. Right, and like you're part of that history and you're like documented a part of that. That's amazing. Exactly. And don't forget, this month's Art After Hours will be held tomorrow from 5 to 9 p.m. in the Zimmerly Art Museum. So definitely go check that out. And it's about time to take our first break, but before we go, let's see how much you know. What is the maximum number of credits you can earn during winter session? We'll find out the answer when we get back right after this. I, I just, I, I don't know, man. I don't know if I can run today. I'm really busy and, wait, what? You're running there? I did not know this. I didn't even know that was a place. Do you know all the places on campus where you can work out and exercise? Well, we do, and we want to share that with you. Globlin Recreation Center is located on Bush Campus on the corner of Freelinghuizen and Bartholomew Road. Globlin has everything from badminton courts to an Olympic-sized swimming pool. The Livingston Recreation Center is located on Road 3 off of Joyce Kilmer Avenue. This center has a full weight room, hosts many different classes, and even has a spa located right inside to help you relax after a tough workout or maybe just a tough exam. The Cook Douglas Recreation Center is located on Beale Road, across from the Cook Student Center. This recreation building comes equipped with a fun fitness center, pool, and racquetball courts for those of you who like sports with a little danger. The College Avenue Gym is located directly on College Avenue, right next to the Student Center. This location has multiple gyms and basketball courts, power and conditioning rooms, and is the only location with a rock wall. The Rutgers Fitness Center is located on Easton Avenue on the College Avenue campus. This is the only location that is just a fitness center, so this might be the place for people looking to just work with weights and machines. Rutgers also has multiple bike and walking paths that run throughout all the campuses. You can find a map of all the paths at redocs.rutgers.edu slash bikewalk. Most facilities are open Monday through Friday, 7 a.m. until 11.30 p.m. Weekend hours vary, but you can find out more information about the facilities and their hours at recreation.ruckers.edu. Welcome back, Rutgers. Before the break, we asked, what is the maximum number of credits a student can earn during winter session? It's time to find out the answer. Four credits. See, that makes sense because winter break is a break so you know you want to give students that break and it's only a month so you don't want to overwhelm students with taking on more than they can handle I agree that's like four months worth of material in one month so it's really it, it's not much of a break if you're trying to do a full semester in that time you know right so four credits give students the opportunity to take classes but making sure that they don't take on too much exactly um, but winter session is approaching pretty soon and um, the only bad thing about that is the cold temperatures. So let's check out the weather for today. Today we are in for some cloudy and dreary weather. This morning the temperature is the high 60s. It will warm up slightly throughout the day for a high of 73 degrees. It will be partly to mostly cloudy all day, and there is a threat of morning showers. Be sure to bring an umbrella and a jacket with you as you embark on your day. The weather tomorrow will also be cloudy and in the high 60s. There is also a 75% chance of rain, so don't forget to bring galoshes with you. However, early reports for the end of the week predict wonderful fall weather. Wednesday and Thursday are expected to be sunny and in the 70s. It may be muggy outside now, but at least there is some great weather in the near future. See, I'm very glad to hear that because this weekend was a total washout. It rained a lot, and I'm, I'm kind of over the rain, you know? Yeah, having, having a nice warm block of days really gives me something to look forward to as I go through the week, you know? Right, and that's what I love about fall. You know, when the air is brisk, you know, I don't like when it rains. That's like a spring thing, you know? Yeah. <laughs> it's not a fall thing. Uh, see, I disagree. I kind of like the rain. Oh, it kind of really? relaxes me. Oh, yeah. I mean, I mean, it's a little tedious when my feet get wet yeah. and I'm walking around, but... 
I don't know, something about just hearing the pitter powder yeah, is very soothing. I, I, very, I like sleeping when it's raining. It, it is soothing. It's like, you know, putting on a track where you hear like a rainforest. Yeah. But I don't like it during the day too much, you know, trying to get to class. Yeah, also driving on the New Jersey Turnpike in the rain. Yeah, isn't that's great, hard. But <laughs> right. hey, so it's like bittersweet, I guess. Yeah, it is bittersweet. Yeah. But, um, you know, well, we have some great weather to look forward to for the rest of this week. So I'm going to actually go um, make sure I have dry socks and we're going to throw to a break. <laughs> Welcome to Livingston Campus at Rutgers University. Located in Piscataway, Livingston is the youngest of New Brunswick and Piscataway's five campuses and is a place that anticipates the future. In the past five years, Livingston Campus has been revamped. In 2011, the campus opened up a new dining commons and renovated its student center by adding meeting and lounge rooms, dining options, and a convenience store. In 2012, the Livingston Apartments opened up, and below these beautiful residence halls is the Livingston Plaza that includes stores, restaurants, and a cinema. Fall of 2013, the new Rutgers Business School building opened up. It provides students with up-to-date tools and resources to successfully prepare for the business world. To find out more information about the Livingston Campus, visit livingstoncampus.rutgers.edu. Welcome back, Rutgers. Let's check out the news and events for today. Germany meets the U.S. in the new series sponsored by the Center for European Studies and the German Information Center. The sixth annual debate between the Rutgers University Debate Union and the Rutgers University Association of International Relations will take place tonight at the College Avenue Student Center from 7 to 9 p.m. The two teams will debate whether Germany's higher levels of representation of women in politics makes its political system more democratic than America's. The upcoming series of programs will focus on women's political leadership and political participation in Germany and the U.S., as well as promote greater understanding of Germany and its relationship with the U.S. among college students. For more information, visit europe.rutgers.edu. See, this will be a very interesting debate because often women are underrepresented in this discussion and that's something we talk a lot about at my internship we do analyze that where commentators tend to be more male dominated and it'll be interesting to see what how the debate goes for that exactly exactly it, it's really we need in my opinion more representation mm -hmm. of all groups of people right other than you know what's typically been the the case right if that makes sense yeah that's what yeah. makes it a democracy too hearing from everyone exactly mm -hmm. Join RUPA for a fun and rewarding trip to help fight hunger and poverty. This Saturday, October 8th at 10 a.m., RUPA will be at the Community Food Bank of New Jersey in Hillside, NJ, to lend a helping hand to those in need. Also, there is no need to worry as the volunteer group will be back before the Michigan football game. Let's help out our fellow NJ residents before heading to the blackout game. For more information, check out RUPA's Facebook page. Yeah, hunger and poverty is something so prevalent in our country that sometimes we don't realize that it's right in our backyard. It's definitely important to give back to the community, right. especially if you've been fortunate enough. You know, I right. think we take a lot of things for granted. In reality, we're kind of like in the top percentage of people in the uh, world. So Right, so it's definitely something that students should check out to give back, you know? Exactly. So in other positive news, the Rutgers Business School competition winning smoothie shop moves off the beach and onto Mine Street in New Brunswick. Playa Bowls, which morphed from a Jersey Shore sidewalk stand to a storefront last year, is making its way to a new location in New Brunswick. Robert Giuliani, Abby Taylor, and Desi Saran, an NBA alumnus, were first prize winners in the 2015 annual Rutgers Business Plan competition and are now betting on the strong tie between the Rutgers community and Belmar, as well as the year-round appeal for the acai. The fruit bowls with exotic acai berries were an instant hit. Saran, who completed his MBA in 2014, also enlisted the help of the MBA team consulting program last year. With the MBA recommendations, the company expanded and employed nearly 200 people and had sales to close to $3 million so far this year. The new location is at 53 Mine Street. It's now open for business. 
See, I am so excited about this. This Pliables has generated so much conversation that I'm definitely been trying to go out there and check it out. It's definitely a good reminder of summer too, especially right. if it's going to be open all year round. You know, if I'm feeling like I need a warm reminder of what, what of nicer days right. during the winter. Right. I could just go there, get yeah. a smoothie. And the bowl, yeah, and the, the fly bowls, they look so delicious and refreshing. And I've just been trying to check it out. So <laughs> definitely it's something we should go to. <laughs> exactly. The Rutgers University Behavioral Health Care Child Division was recently awarded a $2 million five-year grant to create the Children's Center for Resilience and Trauma Recovery. The center aims to provide evidence-based trauma-informed care services to children with complex trauma and their families across New Jersey through training and consultation. RUBHC will partner with the New Jersey Children's System of Care as well as with the Rutgers School of Nursing, School of Social Work, and Graduate School of Applied and Professional Psychology to train existing and future workforce. Director Kelly Moore says if we can help these families early on, we can nurture their resilience to recover from trauma and use skills to promote sustained change over time. The center's immediate goal is to provide trauma-focused interventions to NJ's children at a critical time in their development, from birth to age 10, and their caregivers reducing the short and long-term negative impact of trauma on academic, social, emotional, and physical development. For more information on these and other news stories, visit newsbreakers.edu. This is amazing. You know, so many children experience trauma at such a young age and don't have anywhere to go for recovery. So to have mm -hmm. this outlet is amazing for yeah, them. Yeah, it, it's definitely a blessing that they're mm -hmm. getting so much money. You know? Right. So hopefully the children will have a state-of-the-art facility right. to go to. Well, hopefully they don't have to go there at all. Right. But, you but know, if stuff they, does happen. Right. So. If they need to go there, it'll be a great yeah. place for them to grow, you know? Yeah. That's such a crucial age for children, and to be able to recover and be able to grow, that's so important. Exactly. Mm -hmm. So now we're going to take a break, and we will be back right after this. Attention Rutgers students. Are you tired of waiting in long lines for your refund check? Students are highly encouraged to sign up for electronic deposit with RU Scholar Refund for the fastest, safest, and most convenient way to receive refunds. Log in with your net ID and a valid Rutgers email address at finservices.rutgers.edu slash OTB. Funds are available for immediate use. All students enrolled in RU Scholar Refund by October 1st are entered to win one of five $75 gift cards. Learn more at studentabc.rutgers.edu slash electronic refund. Do you like kicking back in your free time? Sometimes the dorms can get stuffy and boring. So head on over to the Rutgers Zone. Need somewhere to watch sports? Need to satisfy that ice cream craving? Or are you tired of your old video games? Rutgers Zone is where you need to visit. Enjoy some games, food, TV, karaoke, and so much more. And don't forget to ask for those ice cream toppings. With all of the cool things at the Rutgers Zone, why would you even leave? If you are on Livingston campus, make sure you swing by the Rutgers Zone, just a bus stop away. For more information, please visit zone.ruckers.edu. Welcome back. I am here with Barbara Russin, the Assistant Director of Summer and Winter Sessions. Hi, Barbara. So when is the winter session? So winter session this year starts Friday, December 23rd, and runs until January 13th. Awesome. So when does registration begin, and how can students register? So registration actually began this morning. So oh. students can go on and register through WebRec today, and that's all live, live and going. Uh, we have many courses that are out there that are being offered in all three different types of formats, so students can really pick and choose what they want. We have online courses, we have hybrid courses, and we also have face-to-face -face courses that are being offered. Awesome. So who can take these winter courses? So basically anybody is able to take a winter session course as long as they don't have a, a hold on their account. So I strongly urge students to make sure that all holds are, all holds are satisfied before they register. 
Um, since winter session is very condensed, it's only three weeks this year, um, it is not recommended typically for students that are first year students mm -hmm. or students with less than a 2.0 GPA. Okay, yes. However, if one of those students is very passionate about taking a course in the winter session, they need to seek written approval from their um, academic advisor or their dean and take that written approval to the okay. registrar. Yeah, that's very good to know. Yes. Um, are there any new and exciting courses being offered this year? Yes, as a matter of fact, we have quite a bit. You know, our, our faculty members are, are great. They're always looking to bring in new content um, and, and new delivery modes into the classroom. So with that being said, we have um, Ancient Rome is being offered. We have Prehistory of Europe. Mm -hmm. We have a Digital Media Lab course being wow. offered. Um, let's see, we also have a graduate course that's a special topics, that's crisis and communications. Oh, okay. Wow. Our, our website also uh, features uh, new, new courses. So if students want to see exactly what's new, you know, for a full list, keep checking there regularly. Okay, awesome. And do you have any advice for students who are concerned about the workload? Yeah, you know, that, that's a great question, and thanks for asking that. Um, again, since winter is only three weeks, uh, the advice that we have is to make sure that the students don't have too many competing priorities at right. that time. Um, you know, students really need to be ready to work the entire time that they're going there, so yeah. be able to, to, to dedicate their time to their schoolwork, um, you know, pretty much every day. You know, I can tell you that a lot of students are very successful in the winter session. Uh, last year alone, we had 1,766 wow. students uh, wow. register for winter classes and you know and they were able to advance their academic goals so yeah. um, so, okay. so so it's a great opportunity for right. students and so is paying for this any different than paying for like in the semester no pretty much it's exactly the same a uh, winter session is on a per credit rate mm -hmm. so depending on what school you're affiliated with and things of that nature you're billed accordingly okay and we are offering uh, one and a half credit two credit and three credit classes oh, okay so um, where can students go for more information so uh, there's, there's about three ways uh, students can get some additional information. The first way, um, which may be the easiest for some, is our website, which is mm -hmm. wintersession.rutgers.edu. Another way is, is that we are offering information sessions uh, through the months of October and November. Oh, okay. And th these information sessions are online. Mm -hmm. Students can register by our website. Um, and by registering for one of these online sessions, a student will be selected to uh, win a winter tuition. Wow. So they can get a free course out oh, of wow. it. Wow. Um, up to three credits. So, um, so definitely take a look at that. We have two dates in October. We have two dates in November for those online sessions. Uh, the October dates are October 4th and 18th, and the November dates are November 3rd and November 17th. Okay. And then finally, be starting today, all the way until winter session starts, uh, we are going to be out at each of the student centers. Uh, today we are at Douglas Student Center. We have an event table there, so definitely stop by. Okay, Students yeah. can stop by, mm -hmm. um, ask questions there, learn a little bit more, learn about our social media challenge, because oh. that's another exciting thing that did very well last year. Um, you know, we have some giveaways and things of okay, that nature, awesome. so it's an exciting time. Yeah, it is a very exciting time. So thank you so much for coming in and giving us all this great information. Great, thanks. We'll see you after this break. This is Kate. Kate never utilized the many great resources Rutgers has to offer. Now, Kate doesn't have a job. Don't want to end up like Kate? Then you should go to University Career Services. University Career Services provides career-related counseling, resources, and programs to help individuals clarify academic and career goals, establish career plans, develop job search skills, and make successful career transitions. The mission is to build relationships with alumni, employers, and graduate schools to optimize internship, job, and career opportunities. From workshops and webinars to fairs and other recruiter visits, the staff within University Career Services works tirelessly to prepare students and connect them to the world of work. For more information, visit careers.rutgers.edu. The Rutgers University Infectious Disease Practice is a health clinic that provides medical care, treatment, and services to over 1,400 HIV-infected individuals. They serve the city of Newark and its surrounding communities where there is a high incidence of poverty, hunger, substance abuse, and mental health issues. Due to limited funding, the clinic is seeking donations in order to keep supporting patients' educational, psychosocial support, and celebratory activities. For more information, watch the video posted on the Rutgers Foundation website which describes the clinic and highlights their committed staff.
You can make a donation at the Rutgers University Foundation at one.rutgers.edu. Welcome back. So Barbara gave us a lot of great information, and I definitely want to check out those info sessions because she said you can be entered to win free tuition for the winter session. Yeah, no, it's it's win-win situation. Yeah, you know? yeah. So, I'm looking forward to winter in general. Oh yeah. I just, you know, it's cold and it gets old, but I do enjoy the little things like yeah. the smell of smoke. Mm -hmm. um, from a fire right. contrast against the cold air. Yeah, and I love when it snows, like only the first day or so. Yeah, you know, you know I still really like snow. It just puts mm -hmm. me in a good mood. A lot of people my age, like, they're starting to get to the point where they're like, I hate the snow. But <laughs> Yeah, I, I don't like it when it's like after a few days and it's very thick and then it becomes slushy, you know, on the side yeah, of the road, yeah. it's brown. I had to, uh, I had to walk. Um, a few blocks last year in that. And yeah, I remember the big blizzard. A five to, a five minute walk took about yeah, 25. Yeah, so and even was, to go to the dining hall just to get yeah. food, it was like going through the blizzard. It was exactly. it was an well, adventure. That's to say why the least. you order food because then yeah. you make other people do that and you get right. to stay. Obviously, give them a good tip. <laughs> yeah. But, um, but, but yeah. Yeah. Right. So, um, but for now, it's still October and Halloween's coming up. So let's check out What's on RUTV with Chloe Cooper. everyone and welcome back to another episode of what's on ru tv i'm your host chloe cooper and i'm here to let you know about all the great movies we have playing on ru tv this month imagine this you are a popular high school cheerleader who loves to shop spend time with your friends and spend time with your boyfriend but one day your life is totally changed when you're told that you are destined to kill vampires what do you do how would you react for Buffy Summers, this crazy situation became a reality in the 1992 version of Buffy the Vampire Slayer. Buffy Summers was a stereotypical, shallow teenager that only cared about three things, herself, her friends, and her boyfriend. One day at school, Buffy was approached by a man named Merrick. Merrick informed Buffy that she is the Slayer, or the Chosen One, who was put on this earth to kill vampires, and he was there to guide and train her. Buffy originally disregards Merrick's claims, but soon realizes that he may be actually telling the truth when he has the ability to describe a recurring dream of hers in great detail. Buffy begins to exhibit uncanny abilities not known to her, including heightened agility, senses, and endurance. After several successful trainings, Buffy is drawn into her first conflict, and if you thought that would be anything but complicated, you are seriously mistaken. Get rid of those other guys in your life. Stab them in the heart. Christy Swanson. I am so sure. Donald Sutherland. Ah, ah. Paul Rubens. Ah. With Rutger Hauer and Luke Perry. Buffy, you're not like other girls. Oh. Yes, I am. How does Buffy's first conflict end? I'm not going to tell you. Watch the movie to find out for yourself. This film debuted at number five at the North American box office and eventually grossed more than $16 million. You can catch Buffy the Vampire Slayer on channel 27.1. Students should also be aware that RUTV is participating in a one-year pilot program with HBO, Cinemax, and Encore to bring the newest and most popular movies to Rucker students. If you are interested in seeing what's playing on HBO, tune in to channel 3.1. If you're interested in seeing what's playing on HBO 2, head to channel 3.2. In HBO S, tune in to channel 6.1. Cinemax is on channel 6.2, and Encore is on 8.1, while Encore C is on 8.2. For more information about all things playing in RUTV, head to rutv.ruckers.edu, or follow us on Twitter and on Facebook. For What's on RUTV, I'm Chloe Cooper.
Well, Rockers, that'll do it for today's episode. For more events happening this week, you can go to getinvolved.rutgers.edu or ruevents.rutgers.edu. Follow us on Facebook by searching RU Network or follow us on Twitter by searching at Wake Up Rutgers. Don't forget to tune in this Thursday with hosts Kim Ballard and Maciel Torres. But before we go, we'd like to thank Barbara Russin for joining us. Thanks so much for watching. I'm Olivia Cruiser. And I'm Joey Lupo. Have a great day, Rutgers. We'll see you next week.